Hey guys, Tonic here. Another Tuesday, another Atomic Shop review. This week in the Atomic Shop, we just got the Pipe Organ Bundle for 1,800 atoms, and we did also get the Portrait Secret Door for 500 atoms. I just picked both of them up, so let's go check them out. First up, we can take a look at the brand new Pipe Organ. This Pipe Organ is going to cost you 3 cloth, 4 steel, and 6 wood to place, and it's rather large as well. It's very tall. Placing it down here, I was actually pretty surprised with the height of this item. But let's go ahead and see what it sounds like. And one last thing with this item is that it is very tall. I know I said that earlier, but I was kind of curious to see if this would fit in a normal size camp with just one wall and then maybe a ceiling above it. And it does. It is very close to the top of that wall though. So do keep that in mind that this is going to take up a lot of wall space as well as the floor space. But it will fit in a smaller camp so you don't need a super tall ceiling for this thing. Next up, let's take a look at the brand new Creepy Well. This is going to be included with the bundle and it has all sorts of bones on there. It has a skull, a hatchet in the back, as well as this roof kind of torn apart. And it does give us the activate option. So let's check out what this does. So that is really cool. It sends little ghosts around. They look very flat though. So let me do that again. They look kind of flat. But they kind of like follow your perspective, so you can never really get a look at the side of them. But that is a really cool little effect that it has there. I like that. It'd be nice if we could maybe keep that going all the time outside of your camp and just have ghosts flying around your camp. But still, this is a really cool item. And so also included with this bundle are going to be some tombstones. So it looks like we have three different variants. We have the undead tombstone, the gargoyle tombstone, as well as the royal tombstone. So let's go ahead and put them down and get a light on them. This is all kind of cool. They don't have any effects, so I can't really activate them or nothing. But they just look like your standard tombstones, but that is a very nice decoration to have. And now also with this bundle, we do have the Raven Perch. So it looks like we just have the one variant of it. So let's go ahead and place it down and see what it does. So the bird does move on there. It flips around as well. That is really cool. Kind of like the bird cage that we got from that scoreboard. So let's activate it and see what it does. Let's try it again. So I'm hitting E on it, but it's not really doing anything. It doesn't need power. Yeah, so it doesn't need any power or anything. It's giving me the activate prompt, but nothing is happening. So I'm not too sure what's up with that. I'd assume that that is not supposed to be activated because this one right here is, you know, not really supposed to be activated. It's just kind of for looks. So maybe that is kind of a bug on there that it says activate. Or maybe it is supposed to do something, but I can't really get it to trigger. And so lastly, included with this bundle is going to be two different types of floor pieces. We have the Haunted House Stone, which is right here. And looking at it, the texturing is very nice. It looks very rough and rugged. You also do have a lot of kind of dirt and grime going through the little corner pieces here. Very cool. I actually like this one a lot. I think I'm going to be using this for like pathways through my camp and things like that. Then over here we have the Haunted House Tile, which is again actually pretty sweet. You have some missing and destroyed tiles on some pieces. You also do have these really nice little like cracks in there. Definitely a lot of texturing going on with these new floor pieces and I really like them. And so that is actually going to be everything inside of that bundle for 1,800 atoms. However, this is being sold separately for 500 atoms and I did just pick it up. So we are going to be taking a look at this, but I do want to say that I wish that this was included with the rest of these Halloween decor items. I think it would fit perfectly inside the bundle and make this bundle a must buy. However, with it being sold separately, I just think that's a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So I do have it placed down and you can just open it up like a normal door. Standard sounds, a really nice texturing on the back there. But where this item really shines is looking at it from different angles. So you can see here when I go to the side, it kind of turns into this like ghoul looking person. Same with this side as well. So it doesn't really matter how far you are either. It is just a really cool item. Definitely going to be the first of its kind, at least that I've ever seen in the game. And I think it's really cool. It reminds me a lot of those bookmarks you used to get at school fairs when you were a kid. It is just so cool. So that is actually going to be all of the brand new items this week, but still at this point in the video, I always do like to go through the entire Atomic Shop for those at work and just can't get on right now to see everything. So here we have all of the brand new items as well as some lunch boxes and repair kits. Over here we have the stuff from last week as well as some older decor pieces. 
Over in Greatest Hits, we have a lot of the shelters back, as well as the Mob Boss Bundle. This is a really old bundle, and definitely pretty cool if you do use the minigun or the AK, or the handmade. But other than that, the outfits are kind of alright. Going over here to returning, we have the new costume bundle. Now this is not really a new bundle with new items, these are just kind of older items thrown into a new bundle. So you're going to have your standard Grognak stuff, the Roman Gladiator, you have this from Season 1 I believe, the Inspector, this is from this season I believe, and then we have the Silver Shroud. And then going down here we just kind of have some of them being sold separately. Over in Special we do have the Spooky Candy Bowl, which I believe you need for this event. Then we have 250 caps. And then this is kind of interesting. So this is the Fallout First Quarterly Catch-Up Bundle. You have the Riot Helmet outfit. You also have the Advanced Ranger outfit, the Ranger Armor Helmet, which I already have, and the Holiday Survival Tent. Now, I thought that I had all these items, but I guess I don't. I must just have some variant of them. But it does also come with the Holiday Survival Tent. And it says that this is kind of going to be a thing where you can catch up on some Fallout First items that you may have missed for some atoms. Definitely a really cool concept, and if they are implementing this, it kind of gives me hope that they might implement a season scoreboard catch-up, where you can maybe get the glass walls and some of those things, or just some random items from the scoreboard in the future for players that may have missed that. I think this is a really cool concept, and I really hope to see it kind of brought over for the season scoreboards. But continuing on here, we also do have the Fallout for Survival Tent. And so, as far as my thoughts on this week's Atomic Shop goes, I think it's a pretty good week. The bundle has some really cool items like the Raven Stick there, and then also with the Well. I think the Well is going to be my favorite item out of this bundle. I love the effect that it has with all the ghosts popping up out of it. That is really cool, and I can't wait to put that down in my main camp. But then also, the Secret Door, I honestly do think is really cool. Again, I wish that that was included in the same bundle. That would be super nice. But the door itself is just so sick. I like how you can kind of look at it from different angles and get the different picture there. Super cool how they did that, and I again can't wait to put that down in my main camp. And then going on to the rest of the shop, there's some pretty good sales there. A lot of the good older Halloween items are still there. Also, some other cool stuff is that the game is on sale across all platforms for Bombs Drop Week. We also do have a pretty big Atom sale. This is the price right now on Steam for Atoms. So a pretty large discount. I'm definitely going to be stocking up for some future Atomic Shop videos. But then also, the Spooky Scorch went live today with some pretty cool patch notes. I'm going to be trying to farm the Spooky Scorch and get a nice farming route for a video later on this week. So for sure, keep an eye out for that this week. But also, I do want to apologize for my voice today if it sounded a bit bland or just different than normal. Because it's a big season change up north right now. The fall is coming, and with that, so are the allergies during the season change. And my throat is just obliterated. It is so raw right now. But I do want to thank you all for stopping by and watching, and as always, giving a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Yosevated, Playmaker, She, Stealth Secto, Network Gate, Golti, Indica, Robert Kennard, Wandering Wastelander, As Death 93, Lanthar, Anaristes, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Chad of Fallout 76 Podcast, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Arjun Deer, Browser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Theodore, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, Dathan Gaming, Christy Melon Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys and have a great day.